after the long 27 weeks, I finally am uploading my hamster charm uh, tutorial. This is my own original design, and it was first inspired by the hamster emoji, which I will put somewhere on your screen. And um, it's really awesome and really cool. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Size you'll need are you'll need one loom set up in the staggered configuration, so you can do this on any loom. You will need a hook. Um, it really is not necessary to have a metal tip. I made this my original one with a um, regular plastic hook. Um, and then you will need either two pony beads or two black bands. And I will demonstrate how to do both of them. And you will also need however many colors of rubber bands you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into them individually so that you know exactly right. what I'm doing. So I was, as you can see, I used white for the main body part. But today I'm going to be using the lightest skin tone. So I thought I would mix it up a little bit. For this neon orange representing this one, I'm going to be using the darkest shade in the skin tone. For the ears, I am going to be using the same color, the light skin tone. <clears throat> For the nose, I'm using a regular pink opaque. And then these are not Rainbow Loom brand, um, they're um, Loom Bands, and that's what I'm going to be using for the whiskers. However, I also used Clear one time, which I do not have that one. Or you can use like a, a darker one. It's just um, really fun. I'm just going to be using the light gray. And so, yeah, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make our extra little parts that we cannot make while it's on the loom. So we're gonna make an, one ear and one arm because as you can see, I've already made that. And then we are also going to make the nose and whiskers. So starting out with your ear color, you're gonna take two of them, and I just dropped it, um, and place it on the loom like this. We're gonna go down five times. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna take a single band of that color and wrap it around the pin three times. So there's one, two, and, well, <laughs> three. Sorry, it's harder with the tripod. Now we're gonna loop that up. So first you're gonna go through your triple cap band there, grab the first two bands, hold down your cap band, and then pull it in front, then go back in, pull the next two, Bands, go back in, take the next two bands, next two bands, and next two bands. Now you're going to take your hook, and I'm just going to use this as your spare, even though we will be putting them on. Uh, so if you only have one hook, that's fine. If you want to use a toothpick or whatever, and then I'm just going to pull it off of the loom. So now we're going to make the little arms. This is on the hook, but I assure you it's very simple. So as you can see, I used the neon orange, which is the second color, and then your main color, which I'm this using this um, light color. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this extra one and you're gonna wrap it around your hook three times. So one, two, three. As you can see, you should see three loops. Take your two other main color and you're gonna place those on and then you're going to slide these loops onto that band and place it back onto your hook. So it should look something like this. So we're gonna make the little whiskers. So the first thing you're gonna do is take the pink part of the nose and wrap it around three times. You should see three loops. Then you're gonna pull your two or one, either whichever you like to do. I like to do two and then take one of it out, but, and then slide this onto your hook and then center this towards the middle. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back through that pink band keeping these bands center and then you're going to pull this main color through and you want to place that back on your hook because this is the band that's going to make sure that this stays into now place. Now it is time for the eyes. So what you're going to do is you're, if you're using bands you're going to wrap this around four times and then wrap another band around four times. Something like this. Then you're going to take a regular uh, body band and then slide all those loops. I suggest doing one at a time through there. And then the second one through there. And now you have your eyes. If you're using beads like I am, I'm using regular pony, uh, mini pony beads. You're first gonna slide a band through two pieces of wire and then grab this bead, place it through. Next, you're going to pull your next one through both of the ends and then pull it <laughs> Sorry, you're going to pull it on to that, but make sure you don't go too fast so that it will stay on the band. 
Go ahead, pull that out. And now you have your eyes ready to go for when you need to place it onto the Now knee. it is time to start the body of the hamster. You're gonna take first one of your uh, regular color bands, place one or two. This is gonna be your slip knot band. Take two bands. We're gonna be using two bands for the rest of the time until we place our uh, body bands, <clears throat> the stretch grass. And then you're going to go down twice. So here's one. And one more time. Like that. And then we're going to go in. Now we're going to place the middle of the hamster. So I'm following the exact same pattern as I did on this one. If you want to change it up, that's completely up to you. <clears throat> so take the two bands and place them down. Take another two bands, place them down, and then we're going to switch to our other color. Place it on like that. Now it's time to start the um, other half of so our hamster. So you're going to take your two bands, remember two bands, this whole time. Place it on from there, and then we're just going to go down twice. So here's one. Here is two. And then we're going to close that up. So make sure these are all in level, because as you can see, this hamster does not have like one neck band. It is completely thick. So you're going to have so many bands on this pin. So do make sure that you have all your bands nice and straight so on I'm that. I'm going to start over here using my main body color. I'm going to go straight out, keeping all those in line and pushing it down very far. Once again, you're going to go down with this. And then we're going to switch to our next color like that because we have little spots here. And we're gonna go down two more times. So as you can see, instead of having to make extra for the feet, and like we did the arms, we can just go straight down one more time. And now we have our feet. So now we're gonna place the middle. Place those on here. Mine's a little crooked, make sure that that does not happen. You want to be nice and so straight. we're only gonna place two more times. So here's one. And here is two, so we're gonna keep it like that because obviously these are our feet and they do not go now all the way taking down. our next color. We're gonna go out like this, and then we'll we'll go down twice in the other main part of the body. And then we're gonna place one of the other spots and then go down one more time using your main color. Now it's time to add on these parts of the body and then these connector bands. So take one of your ears and what you're gonna do is gonna place all of these four loops, not the cap band, but the four loops right here onto this pin. All right, so you should have that triple cap band. You're gonna go through that triple cap band with your hook. Make sure all the three bands and only that cap band is on. Then you're gonna place it down on the next pin. So you should see almost this like C shape. Now you're going to take your eyes and you're gonna place this first band right over here and then this band right over here. Then you're gonna to wanna to separate the eyes and you're gonna to go, wanna to grab this top loop here and loop it up to create this triangle now type you're gonna to wanna to grab your nose and you're gonna to wanna to make sure the whiskers are pointing up like this and you're gonna go straight across on these last pins. One band, one band. Make sure that this nose, this pink band right there is right in the middle of that band and that these whiskers are still as centered now as possible. Place the little arms on the shoulder pegs. So you're just gonna take it, all those four bands, place it on that shoulder pin. So now you're gonna take one single band and place it across the three pins like this should go directly below the arms. And we're gonna repeat that on the next. So you should see two triangle shapes. Now this next triangle, you're gonna place it on like this. Then you're gonna see this band right here. You're gonna take your hook and hook it up and over. So that way you don't see anything right there. So that way it will come out a lot um, add the feet cap bands, which is three times. So here's one and two and three, like so. On the other side, one, two, and three. So now it is time to start the hooking process. So first, we're gonna go onto the left side. Go through that triple cap band, and then loop up. <laughs> now, you're gonna have this band. You wanna make sure to go through that band and loop up the next two. Once again, you're gonna go through that band, loop it forward, 
and then go through here and loop it forward and you're going to stop here and then we're going to loop Sorry up this Sorry guys about that. My camera didn't record it so I forgot to take it back. But anyway, you're going to grab these two bands and you're going to loop it forward. We don't have to go through a cap band or anything. And then you're going to go through it one more time. And we're not going to loop this in because we're going to loop um, these in at a different time. So now we're going to go through this cap band and loop all of these forward just like we did on the other side. Just make sure you go through this um, connector band as I say. So we're going to loop up to here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here and we're going to loop these I've bands. I zoomed in and changed my loom just so you guys can see better. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through these shoulder bands right here and the other bands and grab only the bottom two. Make sure you're going through all of them. A good way to check is you can rotate your hook around. And you're going to grab the bottom two bands and you're going to loop them over the peg. And you don't want to pull too hard, but you want to pull them. And then drag it right there. This part is very easy. You're just going to go right here and pull these forward. Repeat this right here. I'm not going to zoom in because, um, as you can see, I just have to, they're a different color. So just make sure you... Do not pull them too hard, and then pull it right there to the center. This part is very tricky. We're gonna have to loop these bands, and we're going to this shoulder pin right here. So first, you need to turn your loom and identify which are your top bands. So these are the bands I'm gonna loop first, so I'm gonna be going out to this side. I know which two bands I'm looking for, and I know their color. So I'm gonna go through that shoulder pin, or <laughs> shoulder pin, sorry. Go through that neck pin, and I'm gonna go through, and make sure I go through every single band Grab those top two bands and very gently pull it through and then loosen it up very quickly because you don't want those to snap because it is very possible to snap. So you can't just pull them over, otherwise it will snap. And yes, that even does happen with rainbow bands because I've actually done that before. So then you're going to go through again and you're going to make sure that you grab these uh, first two bands. So sometimes you can kind of go around to make sure you know which you're grabbing so then very gently hook over here and then you're going to want to push this nose up a the little last bit. ones are very simple all you got to do is go through and then i put my hook in the wrong way through and then just loop them right up and you can kind of give it a little twist just so they're not so tense and now we're ready we're to finish. start here with the left go through all the bands grab the bottom two now you're gonna have to go through the ear bands here but they aren't too hard especially because this is a different color and go through here, and then we're going to continue, go through the four bands here, and then loop this out. Then we're going to go through the nose, and don't push this too hard, because you don't want these to get out of place. And go straight forward, make sure you get both the bands on the pin, go straight forward again. And we're going to go straight up on the other side. Once again, four bands here, and then another four bands right here. Straight in like carefully that. want to grab this band right here and if you use two that's probably would have been a little bit of a better idea but you're just going to go through and grab it and then what you do is you can hook it here very gently and then come through here loosen that up so it's not near as tight and you're going to go ahead take this bottom band up and over so you create a slip knot take it off and you're going to pull nice and tight then you can just place that back on and you're ready to pull it very off very careful loop. right here to make sure that you do not pull the whiskers out of its place so I usually actually kind of leave that until I now can get it. When you pull it off of your loom, you just need to give it a tug. And then you're going to see that these are on the inside. We're just going to take it to the outside. So you're going to hold these bands. Go in through here and just pull that up and over. And then you can kind of pull these out. Okay, so then you want to hold these. And then what you can also do is use your fingers to pull it out. So that way your whiskers are nice and prominent. And an optional choice is that you can cut it like I've done here. However, I'm not going to cut it for this time because I I might cut it later. I don't know. But you can just snip it off. And now your little hamster, little adorable hams hamster is complete. Thank you guys so very much for watching this adorable hamster charm uh, video. I really, really, really did hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make it, please post it on Instagram and tag me at Tutorials for Looms in the photo in the caption. You can also use my hashtag Tutorials for Looms. All that will be linked down in the description box down below. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. And I'm so looking forward to seeing y'all's color combinations. And um, yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.